And one game left for these players to make sure that they will be part of the squads that fly to New Zealand. England as favourites, Wales as hopefuls. And Snows Hill gets Wales underway. And it's a, an unconvincing early clearance from Zoe Harrison. Taken on by Packer. England adventurous from their own 22. Scarrett releases it. And then the chase from Kildarn and width provided by Lydia Thompson. And Lucy Packer can get England recycling again inside Wales. 22. Harrison with some width to Rowland. Width and space and opportunity that she does not miss. Meantime, all eyes on the forwards. And this time the line out pocketed nicely and away they go. Harris wasn't far away. When Cleon Pierce looks interested as well. And England's defence tested here and tested to the max. And Gwen Crabb, off the back of some mighty forward work, crashes through the English line. But another opportunity that you would you would hope that was more clinical. The ball did squirt out of that breakdown. Lucky with the penalty. Now one of England's super strengths, but they take it quickly. Packer to Scarrett to score. Clark Davis on her home ground picks up Gloucester Harbour's Alex Matthews. Here comes the drive. No idea how you stop that. And in the end, neither did Wales. And so close to flying to New Zealand, it's not the kind of time to be taking any kind of risks with players with a World Cup just over the hill. Meantime, Wales scrum with a bag full of problems. England have shoved them off the ball. It's a penalty try. Brute strength, determination, a Wales pack. Sean of Calendar, but sent back on roller skates. And England have four before half time. Harris was there with the tackle. Lots of white shirts away to the left hand side. England for the time being happy to keep it tight and burn determined defense led again by hannah jones the captain but now surely weight of numbers far too much white away to the left for wales liking and the fullback ellie kildarn skates over to end this first half on a high for england Alex Callender, eyes wide open, trying to work out where this might go. It goes to Zoe Allcroft. England a fair way out, but um, they can maul from miles out. And Amy Cocaine at the back of all this looks unstoppable. On the list, she had a good first 40. Oh, she did. Set piece. Oh, and another break. And this is Cocaine again looking for a second, almost in as many minutes. Did brilliantly to get the ball away. And Roland will score. So she'd be pretty handy in the back row as well. I mean, awesome player to look out for for the future. Cocaine goes long. Gathered in by Old Cross. Scarrett scores. And England for the second time in the match. Going for plan B off the line out. And Claudia McDonald as well, player of the match performance against the USA in Exeter. And now bottom earn. And now for the hat trick, Roland. Lots of new faces on the pitch. It's one of the more familiar ones who's been with us from the start who has the biggest smile. The tears of Devon. The joy of Bristol. Helena Rowland, hat-trick scorer. Aitchison over the ball to lay it back. McDonald, bottom end, into the pads. Not... Oh, has it been given? Start of this match. Sean Lillicrap doing all she can to hold England up, frustrate England, but again, it's wave upon wave of white. And for the time being, the forwards continue to drive. Alex Matthews continues to drive. That England flying towards New Zealand. Things to work on, which you want 
going into a World Cup. And England will head to New Zealand as World Cup favourites. And world record holders. For the first time in Test Rugby, a team have won 25 in a row. 25 in a row. And in the end, Wales rather outclassed by England.